United States. Well, it won its independence, and now at the end of the 18th century, the population was five million. Five or six cities placed along the eastern seaboard were already worthy of the name. Philadelphia, of course, uh, with 46,000 people. New York with 33,000. Baltimore, Boston, Charleston uh, with just a few thousand. But before long, it would grow out of all recognition. And this was in part due to the men who loved wide open spaces. And one of them was Daniel Boone. Even as a boy, he showed what he was made of. As for you, Daniel, you're 12, and all you want to do is run about the woods. You, you can't even write your name. Now, goodness only knows what you'll become. Go look after the animals. It's all you can do. And so Daniel Boone grew up in the forest, learning from the Indians and observing the creatures of nature. Father! Father! Look what I brought in today! Well, you can't do many things, Daniel, but I do admit you're a hunter. Wait there, I've got something for you. Thanks, Father. It's a beauty. With this, I can really hunt. They are splendid. They really are. How, White Brother? How to you, my good friend? I see you have two rifles now. Yes, you're right. And this one's yours. Ah. Uh, uh, pow! <laughs> <laughs> right, and now let's go hunting, all right? Mm -hmm. You never know, we might run into some little game. <gasps> or, or even some big game. Look, a black bear. King of the forest. It's a once-in-a-lifetime offer, sir. You won't regret it. 260 hectares of good Carolina land and all that for the ridiculous sum of 50 pounds. My dear sir, it's a steal, I promise you. I think we could settle down here, Rebecca. With you, my love, I could settle down anywhere. So Daniel Boone set up his family home and he created a fine farm, but, but that the call of the unexplored lands was too great for him to resist. Daniel! Dear 
dearest. The harvest is in and all the animals are fenced in. Everything is as it should be. I want to go and explore out there the western lands. I will come back soon. Don't worry. Harvest is all in. I'd like to go and explore a little now. Yes, my dear, I know. I just hope you'll watch your step. Bye. Bye. How wonderful. Is it a... No, this one is a girl, Daniel. Her name is Sarah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rebecca, the har... I know the harvest is in, the animals cared for, and you want to explore the West. Oh. <laughs> this will be my last expedition, my dear. We have debts to pay, so I'll have to bring in lots of skins. But this time, I won't go alone. All right, spread out. Buffalo are our friends, white man. We hunt no more than we need for their meat or hide. Have you not killed more than you need? <laughs> when we hunt, we kill because it's what we like. <laughs> and we sell their hides. They don't belong to anyone. They belong to everyone and should be respected. I'll show you just how I respect them. <laughs> white man has to understand massacring animals is wrong way. Animals belong to all people, like the sky and the clouds and the wind on the prairie. Did you see that? A redskin trying to teach me! Savage. Ah, good, good shot. Let's take a look. <laughs> hey, where did the chief go? Where'd he go? Hey, where is he? I killed more animals. I get more cash. And that's right what he says. We killed more than all of you, so we better get most of the money. No, I don't agree. No, we're a hunting party, and we're all... No, no, we kill them and we get our money. In fact... Yeah, that's right. We... Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought you Shawnees were our friends. Tell me, why do you do this, great chief? That one killed one of my sons who did nothing to him. And when you kill so many animals, it is a crime. You are our friend. You can take your skins. But these he killed, we will keep them. Daniel Boone and the other pioneers explored many new territories and the United States went on growing. The brand new capital was established, Washington, in its own district of Columbia, and the same year Vermont joined the Union, then Kentucky, Tennessee. But to go on expanding, there was one great obstacle. The territory of Louisiana belonged to France. Thomas Jefferson was president then, and he wanted to buy New Orleans. Talleyrand tried to sell these Americans not just New Orleans, but the complete Louisiana territory. Why not? After all, what good could such land ever be to us? There you are, gentlemen. All of Louisiana for $20 million. What? You, you want, want us, us to pay $20 million? We don't have... Authority for that. We have been commissioned to buy New Orleans for two million dollars. Three, let's say. Nineteen million, not a penny less. That's much too high. Let's say four. Eighteen million. Too high. Five million. Then seventeen. No, six million. Sixteen million dollars. My final offer. No, seven. Fifteen. Eight. Fourteen. Nine. Thirteen. Very well. Ten. Twelve, but it's my final price. Eleven, and that's the limit. I think it's a fair offer. Done. Then Louisiana was purchased for $11 million and was well worth it. It worked out at 10 cents per hectare, the cost of a box of matches. It was a real bargain. Huh? 
One of the best deals ever made for the Americans. Overnight, the territory of the U.S. doubled in size. Population soared because new immigrants came in every day. The country expanded to the West, always to the West. New members of the Union. Ohio, Louisiana, naturally, uh, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri. With a grand total of 24, 24 states made up the USA. But they weren't all the same. They, they were differences. What were they, these differences? Well, for one thing, in only half of these states were men free. It was slavery in the others. In half of the states, there was slavery. Move faster, faster. You sleep, you lazy bones, good for nothing. Get a move on. And anybody not picking two baskets of cotton gets whipped tonight. I like whipping them. <laughs> hey, your boy tried to run away and we're gonna give him a lesson. No, don't hurt him. He's a child and didn't know any better. If he's a child, it's about time he learned. No, he won't <laughs> run so fast. And there was another big problem. We have to solve our Indian problem. The Cherokees living in Georgia will send to the west, beyond the Mississippi River. We'll sign a treaty with them. They will have a reservation and live in peace here. Mm. What? Uh, Black Falcon and all of his tribe have left the reservation. There was no way to feed the tribe there, Mr. President. Dispatch army units there to uh, make them return. I don't want any Indians east of the Mississippi. And the Shawnee? They're migrating, Mr. President. They're migrating. Three hundred fifty treaties were signed with the Indians, and almost none was ever honored by the Americans. Thousands and thousands of Native Americans lost their lives in forced migrations to the West. Arkansas joined the Union, expanding beyond Louisiana, and the United States encroached on Mexican territory. The situation there was changeable. Who is that coming? It must be the new governor. The old one is leaving. Senor, slavery is not permitted in Mexico. Senor, now I must ask you to release them. I've got authority to work in Mexico according to the laws we got at home. Our president, General Santa Ana, would not like hearing that. He won't be happy. You sent for me, General Santa Ana. It is scandalous what is going on in Texas. I won't permit it. Every report says the same thing. The North Americanos do whatever they like. General Cos, take a detachment and put things right in the territory of Texas. Yes, General. Uh, Presidente. North Americanos, there they are. They aren't many, we're lucky. And we will advance, and with our fine army, we massacre them. My name is Burleson. I'm in charge around here. Now, you can all go on home as long as you agree you'll behave yourselves. Come on now, promise. I give you my word of honor. Mm. My word of honor, my heart. You simpering, no good rapscallion. Caramba, you yellow belly. Now I'll show these gringos who I am. They're not going to insult President General Santa Ana, are they? No, no they're, they're not. not. Colonel Travis, Colonel Boy. The Mexican army's coming. There must be thousands. Colonel, tell me exactly how many men do we have? I'll tell you, Davy Crockett, about 200. Well, we're at your orders, Colonel Travis. Thank you, Colonel Bowie. Take the women and children away.
Surrender. You haven't a chance. There are 5,000 of us and 200 of you. Surrender. No. Your lives will be spared and you can go home. We refuse. If you want Fort Alamo, come and take it. Very well. Men, ready? Fuego! Texans held out for two weeks. 1,500 Mexicans paid with their lives at the Alamo. There were only five wounded men, and they were killed. A few years later, the United States declared war on Mexico. Following in Cortez's footsteps, General Scott would conquer Mexico, and the United States would acquire Texas, New Mexico, and California. So, New Mexico, Utah, California joined the Union. Only one region remained unexplored, the Oregon Territory. But before long, pioneers began streaming in there, too. St. Louis on the Mississippi, all ashore, that's going ashore. Excuse me, sir, where will I find the Oregon Trail? Oh, uh, you too, huh? Well, you go up the Missouri River, 250 miles up, to the city of Independence. Uh, trail starts right there. Then it's only about 2,000 miles to oh. go. Good luck. Hope you make it. I'm looking for a carpenter who can handle livestock. Now, he has to know how to cook and chop wood. We leave for the Oregon Trail tomorrow morning. I'll go. I'll go with you, sir. I don't know if I'm too good at all those things yet, but I'm strong and willing to learn. No, it's me you want. I'll go with you. I'm an expert cook. <laughs> and I can handle a six-gun, you never know. I might want an engine to bite the dust or have some troublesome neighbors. <laughs> oh. If it's our destiny to go west, spreading across the continent, we need peace in our hearts. I have no intention of killing Indians and even less of shooting my neighbors. I like your honesty, young man. What's your name? Peter, so am I coming along? You are, Peter. You're hired. By the way, my name's Williams. Come on, I'll show you the wagon. <laughs> now, my friends, who is voting for me to be wagon master? I'm the best man for the job, and my assistant is an excellent shot. We vote for, for Williams! Williams. Yeah. Wagons west! Westward ho! Westward ho! Westward ho! for a snowstorm. Find shelter. We could freeze in this blizzard.
If they'd elected you Wagon Master, we'd be Why right. didn't you help to swing my election? Uh, what could I do? Make them an offer they couldn't uh, refuse. Uh, 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 Bear a cup of coffee. With a little sugar. And uh, maybe a couple of breakfast rolls. And slices of bacon. <laughs> How come you've no provisions, man? No tools with you either? That's bad planning. Uh, no, we don't need any tools for working. We're property developers. Mm -hmm. Tell me again what you develop. It's something new. We just got into it, Ralph. Yeah, we're property developers, you understand? A lot of folks want land, and... Yeah, uh, we sell it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then we get more. And we sell, we buy them, and we sell them, and buy and sell, buy and sell. Well, we raise pigs and we make pork and bacon. We sow grain and harvest and we make our own bread. What you're describing doesn't seem to be of much use, especially since land is free out here. Kill a brave for no reason. You bring man here, we will go away. Now, I cannot put the man into your hands. He'll be judged, and we'll give you blankets, axes, and a mare. White man will not buy a brave's life. Since you refuse, we will do justice. build our house here on this promontory and there we will plant wheat and corn and over there perfect pasture land at the foot of those hills over there later we will build your house there's certainly no shortage of space let's get to work the Oregon pioneers found themselves 2,000 miles from what they would have called civilization life was hard and dangerous And yet the farms and hamlets were to become the cities of the future. 350,000 pioneers would take the Oregon Trail in the 1850s. The Mormons would go to Great Salt Lake and still others all the way to California. Then one day in Sacramento, California. Uh. Uh. Can 